He's from Long Island, New York. He's saying something unusual happens to him when he's attracted to a woman. And he says his modeling career started by accident. Please welcome Billy Harrington. <laughs> hey, Billy. How are you, man? Nice to meet you. Have a seat there. Uh, all right. Make yourself comfortable. I'm going to run back and get your shirt. Shouldn't take too long. <laughs> Thank you. How you doing? Pretty good. Good. So how'd you accidentally become a model? Well, actually, it was a uh, quite of a surprise. I was uh, dating a girl out on Long Island, and we had went to the beach. And uh, she had brought a little camera with her and um, took a couple of snapshots and sent them into Playgirl. Uh, oh, is that right? Yeah, w without my knowledge. And uh, a couple of months later, I had won a contest. Uh, it was the real man of the month. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, good got, a check, got a check for 500 bucks, and uh, yeah. it was a good thing. That's exactly how I got this job. <laughs> so what happens to you when you're attracted to a woman, Billy? Uh, well, uh, I get really nervous. Uh, really quiet, really shy. Uh, I stumble over my words and stuff like that. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Same, women kind of like that, though. Let's take a look at the women that Billy had to choose from. Remember, you guys are going to pick the woman that you think is best for him. First, it was Violet. She was born and raised in Canada, and she's being told she resembles Uma Thurman. She enjoys hiking and dancing, and she also likes to cook. Violet prefers guys who are physically fit, but she says sometimes that's a drawback. Men that spend a lot of time in the gym taking care of themselves, um, sometimes those men, they, that's all they do. And, um, you know, they can be funny, they can be perfect, they can be deep, they can be sensitive, they can be cuddly, they can be... All, everything on the list, except the one thing is they don't work because they fine-tuned all of that. It took a lot of time, so they forgot to get it job. <laughs> all right, next there was Rosalie. She has a degree in criminal justice, and she usually dates about once a month. She'd like to meet a man who smells nice, dresses nice, and isn't juggling a lot of women. Here's more from Rosalie. I meet mean, a lot of 23, 24-year-old guys who are just still out having fun. And I tell them, I'm 29, and they don't believe me. I have to show them my ID. I'm 29. <laughs> and then they say, oh, you're really lucky. You don't have wrinkles. I go, wait till I get on the light. <laughs> and finally, Cindy. She asked us not to set her up with a shorter, younger, blonde guy. She'd like to meet someone who's spontaneous, monogamous, and willing to get involved in family activities. And Cindy says, some men just don't know how to talk to women. Here's more on that. They say wrong words, like, gosh, you're a big girl. Yeah, I'm sorry. Guys, any guy out there, never use big with woman. <laughs> tall. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take tall. Not big. Okay. <laughs> Resembling Amazon. <laughs> All right, audience. Those are the three women that Billy had to choose from, but it's time for you to choose. Make your vote. Take a break, and when we come back, we'll meet the woman Billy selected and hear all about their date right after this. Come on back. <laughs> all right, we're back. We were talking to Billy before the break. Billy, why don't you tell us who you select? Oh, Cindy. Cindy. Okay. She was with us. Let's say hello to Cindy DeRusso. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Kat. Hey, Hi. Beth. Hi, Billy. Thanks for being with us. Billy, tell us about the date. Well, I uh, spoke to Cindy over the phone, and we uh, really connected uh, really nicely. I, I like that. And we, uh, we decided to do something spontaneous. Um, uh -huh. So I asked her to make a suggestion, and she suggested uh, skydiving. Oh, skydiving. Wow. That is spontaneous. Yeah, a little spontaneous, and I was a little nervous with being the guy. I figured, what the hey? What happened next, Billy? Well, I, uh, I picked her. I, well, first of all, I have to say, I, I drove over her house in my car, and I opened up the door, and there she was. She opened up the door. She was absolutely a knockout. I mean, took my breath away. Oh, she was so beautiful. I mean, tall, dark hair. I mean, beautiful smile. Now, what did you think of Billy when you saw him, Cindy? Oh, my gosh. He looks, he has the body of a Greek statue. I mean, he's gorgeous. Gorgeous. These arms, the smile, everything about him was like, Whoa, wow. I've never seen anybody like this. Oh, all right. Well, good. Do you work out, Billy? <laughs> um, what happened next? Uh, well, um, we jumped in my car. The, the tension mounts because we're getting closer to the jump school and we go through the two-hour course. Uh, we get up in the plane and uh, then she announces to me that I'm going first. I, it's exactly what I did. She was pretty adamant about it. Uh, I leaned over the edge, looked down, 
took a deep breath and jumped and screamed all the way down like a woman. Wow. <laughs> I would have paid to see that, boy. How did your jump go, Cindy? Uh, my eyes started watering. I was, I was wishing that I had just gone out to dinner and had dancing like every other Love Connection couple. Um, I was really hoping that at one point he would say, you know what, let's not do this. But um, I just closed my eyes, jumped, and screamed. I mean, screamed at the top of my lungs. All wow. the way down. That's all pretty... the way down. Now, how did Billy greet you when you got to the grass? Oh, my gosh. He came over to me, and he just planted this terrific kiss on me. I was like, whoa. I couldn't believe it. It was great. I don't know which I got more lightheaded from, the jump or the kiss. I was, like, ready to faint. <laughs> all right. So you made the jump. Then what, Billy? Uh, well, it was a pretty nerve-wracking day so far, so I figured we'd come back to my house and just take it down a notch, take our shoes off, and kick back, and, uh, so, so that's what we did. Um, we went back to my house, and I, uh, suggested I wanted to take her out someplace to get some, something to eat, and she suggested that she cook for me. She was quite adamant about it, and so oh. she just rolled up her sleeves and, uh, whipped up a, a an excellent meal. I, I couldn't ask for better. Oh, well, that's pretty nice. Now, did, you knew, obviously, that Billy was a, a model. Did you ever see any of his modeling photos, Cindy? Uh, yes, I insisted after dinner that he show me some of his nude pictures. And um, for all the women, I would just like to say, wow. <laughs> it was, I mean, come on. You have a perfect chance to see this man naked. Yeah. Well, I certainly can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what happened? What happened next, Billy? Well, um, after dinner, um, which was, again, quite lovely, um, she uh, gave me a nice massage. And so I went upstairs. I, uh, I, I took a very cold shower. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I came downstairs with my towel, and uh, we lit a fire in the fireplace. And uh, she gave me a nice massage. And we started to get to know each other a little bit, uh, yeah. kissing and cuddling and stuff like that. And uh, then I asked her if she would uh, spend the night with me. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Well, then what happened, Billy? Uh, <laughs> well, we uh, fell asleep, and um, <laughs> the next, the next, the next morning, I woke up and uh, I wanted to give her a ride home, but she was gone. Oh, really? Oh. She was gone the next wow. morning. Now, why'd you Why'd you leave before Billy woke up, didn't you? He was sleeping so soundly, and I just thought, you know, I have a friend. I just had a girlfriend come pick me up. So I just gave him a kiss tonight, and that was it. Oh, wow. And on her way. But it sounds like a nice date. You certainly... Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Very exciting with the skydiving and the sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who the audience was. Uh-oh, Billy. The audience picked Violet. 55% of our audience chose Violet for you. I'll make the offer, Billy. If you'd like to go out with Violet, we'd be happy to pay for it. Not a chance. Not a chance. I'd like to go out with Cindy again, if that's possible. Is that right? What do you think, Cindy? Oh, thank you. Good. Come on out. Say hi. <laughs> All right. There you go. You're a good-looking couple. Hey, you look good together. You're tall. Yes. Yes. I don't want to be offensive, but you're tall. Yes, I'm tall. Yeah. That's exactly. So, so it. That's that was good. Yeah. We enjoyed meeting you both, and I'm glad things worked out. And check back with us. Let us know how things are going. Thank right? you very much. All right. We're going to take a break and be right back with our next guest after this. Yeah. 